Hi, I'm Fred George, former chief pilot of Aviation Week and Space Technology, and I'm here at Oshkosh Air Venture 2021 today, looking around to find out what's new and exciting. And one of the things that impressed me is the first appearance of Stratus New 716 experimental jet. The reason that this airplane is so impressive is that this company's been around for gosh 14 years and you know they were chronically looking for funding. Finally they got funding to proceed with the development of a market viable six seat personal jet that would fly higher faster, smoother, quieter than turboprops. Their whole goal in getting this company started was to bring down the cost of buying and operating a turbofan aircraft to turboprop levels. I first saw the Stratus 714 proof of concept here at Oshkosh about four years ago, 2017. The aircraft is so named for its 0.7 Mach cruise speed, roughly 400 knots, single turbofan engine and four seat interior and that was four years ago and based on customer feedback from all the people that looked at the 714 they said geez great concept but it's too small so stratus went back to the drawing boards and said we're going to stretch the 714 that wasn't a good idea what evolved from the 714 was a totally new 716 design except for the wing which is recycled from the 714. This airplane has a 31 inch stretch in the cabin. It's five inches wider so it's got a six seat interior and because the drag polars between the earlier 714 and the 716X are nearly identical only a few knots of cruise speed are lost. Best of all, while the aircraft has 40% more interior volume, making room, nice room for six seats, it is 400 pounds lighter. One might think that a composite aircraft is totally composites, but no, actually this airplane is about 95% composites, even greater amount of composites than in the 787 and the Airbus 350. The other 5-10% of the aircraft is made out of other things. For example, high strength aluminum is used where it makes sense. The flap hinges, uh, the landing gear, and the wing attach points. And a very unique feature for this airplane is something called the mid-fuselage integrated engine mount. This is made out of chromoly steel rather than composites because chromoly steel is the lightest weight structure that will meet FAA and European standards for engine rotor burst and fire protection. As a bonus, the non-structural panels around that engine mount are easily removed for ease of maintenance to components. In fact, you can actually change this engine in less than a day because of the accessibility of the chrome molly engine mount. The Stratus 716X is so named because it's an experimental aircraft. The aircraft is designed to be a stepping stone to the 716 certified aircraft. That certification campaign will begin in 2026 with the goal of getting the airplane certified in 2018. Excuse me, 2028. The whole mantra, the whole philosophy of the company is that so many owner pilots would like to step up to jet performance, but they have been priced out of the market. And that's the goal of this company, to bring the purchase price of a turbofan aircraft and the operating cost of a turbofan aircraft down to turboprop levels, which explains why it only has one engine. The principal competitors in the turboprop market would be the Piper M600, the TBM 940, the Epic E1000, and of course the PC-12 NGX. This aircraft cruises, oh gosh, about 10,000 feet higher, 10 to 15,000 feet higher, and as it cruises at 380 knots up at 41,000 feet, the fuel specifics, it only burns about 5% more fuel than the very fastest turboprop in class because it cruises so much higher. If this airplane slows down to turboprop speeds, say 330 knots, then it matches the cruise fuel economy of the very fast turboprop. With respect to the jet competitors, it competes favorably with the, uh, gosh, the Citation Mustang, the Citation M2, the Honda Jet, uh, uh, and also the Embraer E1, 100, I should say, Phenomenal 100 EV. If you take a look at the cruise performance, 380 knots, that's comparable to the average of turbofan airplanes, faster than the Phenom 100, but not as fast as something like the Speedy 
uh, Honda jet, but the purchase price is only half the average of a new light twin turbofan. And having only one engine, it consumes a lot less fuel. It has a lot lower direct operating costs. The airplane is going to be priced at $2.5 million, and that's a flyaway price. And that includes the kit itself, which is about $2.3 million, and then a $200,000 allotment for builder assist. Stratus has selected a number of qualified builder assist centers because when you're building your own 400 knot class airplane this will do 400 knots below 41,000 feet you just cannot afford to make errors because you need to have something that's safe and airworthy the airplane out the door flyaway price is going to be about two and a half million dollars and that's about half the average price of a turbo twin turbofan aircraft now, as far as where the kits are going, Stratus is not yet ready to take orders. They're taking position reservations, $25,000 refundable deposits for gaining a position. And once the kits start to become available next year, the whole object is to try to keep people as close to the northwest US, uh, northwest corner of the US as they possibly can to stay in very close liaison with operators to provide technical support, part support, maintenance training, and pilot training. For more information about the Strata 716X Experimental Jet, visit their website at stratusaircraft.com or visit them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the usual social media outlets. I'm Fred George. Thanks for viewing.